What's up, good people? Now you're probably wondering why I wear a mask. And the main reason why I wear a mask here in Hanoi, Vietnam is pollution levels here are really high. It's actually in the unhealthy area. You can check out the app, the air visual, you'll be able to see the um, level of pollution. So that's why I wear a mask here. Not only that, there's a lot of dust. So it helps me protect against dust. And then some people have said that it will protect you against things like the corona, whether that's true or not, whatever. Anyway, give you a little look at the lake. You can see all the pollution haze out there. Now a lot of this haze comes from factories that burn coal. And these factories are Chinese factories, which are north of Hanoi. And so all that pollution drifts into the city. And uh, yeah, it's quite detrimental to people's health. The levels can really exceed up into the highest levels of pollution on the planet, actually. Hanoi's been actually up there last year um, at number one with all the pollution that's been going on. So that's one of the reasons why I wear a mask. And a lot of other Vietnamese here, they also wear masks. You can see a lot of them here walking around with masks on mainly because of the pollution it's really bad anyway guys we are still in a social distancing lockdown which actually ends today but the Prime Minister has not given an actual indication of whether they will continue or not so hopefully we will know today sometime and get back to some sort of normalcy here because there are a lot of businesses that are closed I and mean, you can see a couple of them in the back that are closed and some that are actually semi-open even though they're not allowed to be open but they've got to make money man and they've got to survive and because Vietnam does not have a benefit system they're on their own so I really feel sorry for families that have created a business over the years and um, a lot of them now had to shut their doors and had to do with this lockdown and not work or make money for their families for food it really sucks so that's something else I wanted to talk about in terms of solutions what can we do to prepare, prepare ourselves for future things like this now I've been into solutions for quite a while in terms of a new social model, resource-based economic model, the Venus Project and those things are possible solutions not the end solution or the finality solution actually there is no finality, there is no utopia but I'm going to be sharing over the next few vlogs some of my thoughts about possible solutions for humanity because I think we need to look at solutions I mean we know about all these problems out there corruption agendas um, and all sorts of behavioral things but we need to offer some solutions as well and focus our energy into solutions and so I'm going to be focusing a lot on that and just sharing my ideas laying the seed to hopefully inspire people to look at more solutions and get them thinking critically I think that's what we need to look at doing critically thinking and um, engaging one another about ideas that can help problem solve I think we need to look at that's just my thoughts so I'm going to be sharing some of that information in the next few vlogs but for now we are just dealing with the social distancing thing and this whole lockdown thing which has grinded the whole world of humans to a halt I'm not saying the whole world as a whole but the whole world of humans because animals aren't in lockdown nature is not in lockdown just our human mind is in lockdown at the current moment anyway it is what it is and um, I hope you guys are looking after yourselves out there 
I think best thing we can do health-wise is look at our immune system and trying to boost it taking things like lemon turmeric ginger um, honey those sorts of things really help to boost our immune system and uh, keep healthy do some exercise like this morning I'm going for a light jog around the, the lake here as I showed you before there are some people still out and about here but this is the lake area so people can still go out but for exercise or essential buying like groceries or paying bills that sort of thing they do have police blocks set up in areas and if you don't have a good excuse as to why you're out you get fined you also get fined for not wearing a mask so a lot of tourists that are here do not wear masks because in their country they don't need to so they believe they don't need to here in Vietnam but they're getting fined anyway it is what it is I think people should just respect the culture that they're in and the place that they've come to if they want to stay there and uh, yeah just be mindful and respectful at the same time anyway